Warning. It can also lead to hemorrhoids if it remains untreated. All of us, in our lifetimes, must have had diarrhea, which has common symptoms such as watery stools, heartache and flatulence. Diarrhea is often the way the body deals with gastrointestinal disorders. Acute diarrhea lasts more than two weeks and can have a variety of causes that we mention here. Viral infection. Bacterial infection. Food poisoning. Recently used antibiotics. Water contaminated with infectious agent. Diarrhea is one of the most common digestive disorders that every person has been infected with in their lifetime and is often more prevalent in summer. Diarrhea has a variety of causes and can be mild or acute and sometimes fatal. Old people and children who develop this digestive disorder are more at risk. What is diarrhea? Diarrhea is one of the diseases that may involve people many times. It occurs when there is a disturbance in the number and type of defecation, which means that the number of excretions increases and the stool is watery. Symptoms of diarrhea. Fever. Fatigue. Vomiting. Nausea. Anorexia. Weight loss. Lack of discretion in disposal. Loose or watery stools. Feeling bloated in the abdomen. Frequent visits to the bathroom. Cause of diarrhea. Parasites. Infection. Diabetes. Viruses. Hyperthyroidism. Consumption of contaminated water. Food allergy. Stress and worry. Intestinal diseases. Alcohol abuse. Non-compliance with hygiene. Gastrointestinal diseases. Side effects of taking medications. Lax overdose. Consumption of fruits and vegetables that were not washed properly. A person who has contracted the disease can show different symptoms depending on whether it is mild or severe. The most important symptoms of the disease include loose and watery stools, flatulence of the abdomen and stomach pain, nausea and vomiting, feeling the urgency to defecate, weakness and fatigue, headaches, dry mouth, fever. One of the most important complications of this disease is dehydration, which is an important threat to health. Symptoms of dehydration include excessive thirst, reduce urination, weakness and dizziness, fatigue, headaches, thick and dark colored urine, dry skin and mouth. Babies with diarrhea should continue to breastfeed or milk powder. If diarrhea in a child lasts more than 24 hours and in an adult lasting more than 3 days, see a doctor. Acute diarrhea usually lasts between 2 days and 2 weeks. Chronic diarrhea may last up to 4 weeks. If your diarrhea is bloody, and you have symptoms like fever, severe heartache or diarrhea that gets worse day by day, you should be monitored by a doctor. Antibiotics may be needed to treat diarrhea caused by bacteria or parasites. In such cases, diarrhea can occur after consuming contaminated water or food. Keep in mind that diarrhea is not treated with antibiotics if it is caused by viral infections. However, if you have these symptoms, be sure to see a gastroenterologist. Blood in diarrhea or black and bitumen stools. High fever above 101 degrees Fahrenheit, or a fever that lasts more than 24 hours. Diarrhea that lasts more than two days. Nausea or vomiting that prevents you from drinking fluids to replace lost fluids. Severe pain in the abdomen or lower back. Diarrhea after returning from a foreign country. Unfortunately, Gastrointestinal problems are very common during pregnancy, so constipation and diarrhea occur frequently in pregnancy during this period. The cause of such problems is changes in hormones, diet and increased stress and stress. In fact, pregnant women suffer from gestational diarrhea many times during this period, and if they are not careful, they will have serious problems. What symptoms should we see in case of diarrhea? Dizziness abdominal or rectal pain, weakened immune system, reduces urine or darkens its color, prolonged diarrhea for more than a week, no improvement or reduction of diarrhea after two days, high fever and not disconnecting it after 24 hours, 
see blood and diarrhea or black or bitumen shaped defecation excessive nausea and vomiting so as to prevent you from eating and drinking fluids drug treatment of diarrhea it should be noted that a prescription is necessary for taking the following medications loperamide dicyclamine bismuth subcitrate diagnosis of diarrhea apart from diet examinations and medical records there are other ways to diagnose diarrhea which we will mention below stool test this test is mostly done to diagnose amal diarrhea the cause of diarrhea can be bacteria or parasites blood test one of the most common methods for diagnosis of diarrhea is complete blood tests colonoscopy this test is done for colon biopsy and examination what is the care needed when you have diarrhea hydrating the body enough rest not consuming stiff and late digestion foods consuming diluted and soft foods that are easier to digest special items people with fluid restrictions should consult their doctor to start taking fluids if infants are infected with diarrhea changing formula can be a good choice if they are breastfeeding but in infants who are breastfeeding breast milk should not be discontinued People with long-term or chronic diarrhea cannot use over-the-counter medications to treat their diarrhea. Take more than two days of self-treatment and see a doctor. Diarrhea in Corona. Patients with the coronavirus may sometimes face digestive problems such as diarrhea and vomiting, in addition to having pulmonary symptoms. Symptoms like this often occur in adults, but in some cases it has been observed in children. In case of gastrointestinal symptoms such as diarrhea and wash your hands regularly, especially after defecation, before eating and cooking well. Disinfect home appliances, especially milk and toilet handles, with a solution containing 70% alcohol if you are likely to be infected. Some of the reasons for diarrhea. Sensitivity to a variety of foods. Consumption of contaminated water consumption of contaminated food intestinal diseases side effects of taking certain medications radiotherapy some cancers having problems with melastic hyperthyroidism food poisoning consumption of alcoholic beverages excessive fiber consumption taking antibiotics gastrointestinal surgery diabetes irritable bowel syndrome nigella pour a small amount of nigella oil into a cup of flavorless yogurt stir well and drink the mixture eat this mixture after meals combine yogurt and nigella oil twice a day to completely relieve symptoms of diarrhea sleeping when you have diarrhea one of the most important things to do is to get enough rest if you don't get enough sleep and rest you'll be more prone to various diseases and complications and your body will weaken apple cider take a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and then drink a glass of water if you don't like the taste of empty apple cider vinegar you can pour a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar into a glass of water and eat it on an empty stomach in the morning use this treatment twice a day to get results quickly mint rinse the mint leaves well then boil a glass full of water pour the mint leaves into a glass of hot water Wait a few minutes for the mint to give back the color. Then set aside the obtained drink to cool slightly. Drink after a few minutes. Diarrhea treating foods. Banana. Soup. Toast. Rice. Potato. Oats. Chamomile tea. Ginger tea. Aloe vera. Peanut butter. Blueberry. Pineapple. Plenty of water. Dark chocolate yogurt green olives beet cinnamon harmful foods at the time of diarrhea beans pea broccoli lettuce vegetables corn pepper coffee caffeinated substances sweet foods plum milk ice cream fried and fatty foods fizzy drinks golden tip 
boil a teaspoon of dried coriander in a liter of water. When half the water remains, pass the water through the filter and when cooled, take it three times a day to relieve immediate diarrhea.